Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how, well, I'm going to show you my puzzle, oh, that's an X, puzzle, box. Uh, this is something that I made, that is not a valid name because there's a space, probably. Puzzle box, okay, we need another G, or some numbers, or, yeah. Okay, for some reason, didn't want to load for that name, but we're doing this name. And I'm going to show you, well, basically this, this just took me around three hours to make. Um, it's called Puzzle Box. It's basically, you need to find a switch on each level. Um, like, and compared to me in my, oh, by the way, this video is going to be really laggy. Compared to me in my quality of creations, it, it's, it's quite low. And so basically, yeah, this is it. And, um... My friend actually earlier broke this, but I th think, yeah, nope, never mind. I forgot I saved it. Don't want that. Alright. Now, I know this is not very thought out, but there. And there, now, now you're locked in. So basically, you're just trapped in this room, there's nothing to do, you know, there's seats, and there's more seats, and probably shouldn't jump, and then, then you just you start looking around. Oh my gosh, there's a button, like, okay, it's just a button. And then... We click the button. Whoa. Stairs. Okay. On the next floor, it's a different color. Yay. Okay. Then there's there's a pretty obvious button. Uh, I think I clicked it. Um. Well, it's green. Nothing happened. Dumb. Maybe, uh. Maybe something. Something happened. I, I don't see anything. I'm, wow, that wasn't there before. Button. And now it's green. Oh, something must have happened, maybe. I'm stuck. Okay. Whoa, where did that come from? I have no idea. That makes no sense. How could have you done that? Because you're about to see in the next part two video. Because if it was sliding doors, it, it, it would be a, a, a gap. You'll see. Discolored block. Okay. Whoa, an elevator thing that people usually mistake for an elevator and just they trap themselves and have to restart the creation. Whoa. Whoa, I already saw the button, so I'm going to click the button. Whoa, I for suddenly rose. Whoa, this. Whoa, jump. Whoa, maze. Oh my gosh, it's like the hardest maze ever. I've never, never seen anything of this this caliber for, oh gosh, a maze. Turn. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay. Whoa, it's a black box. I click the button. Oh, surprise, I fall. Whoa. A rainbow door. I wonder what these buttons are. Huh, three lights. Three of them must be right. Let's just spam buttons and figure it out. Uh-oh. Uh. Nope. Uh. -oh. No. Oh. No. Nope. Yep. Okay. One's button's wrong. Oh, I think it's. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Yay. Yay. The door's opened. Whoa. It's opened. Oh my gosh. It shows you how it's all done. There's also an opening there, but that's fine. Okay. Basically, this is how it's done. There's pistons. Pistons are connected to the buttons. Every time you press a button, one of these pistons activate. These activate these. I mean, yeah, these pistons, these pistons reach for a sensor over there. That sensor opens the door and opens this door. I don't know. This door can just constantly be open. And then the way I got like an inverted, so it's on, 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 as I took these things and I connected these things to, to these things, to these things being powered. And then there, yeah, that's the puzzle box. And in part two, I'll show you the b more behind the scenes. Yeah. Thanks for watching and goodbye.